Uh, cool. So um, we have an asset management database uh, at SVI that's called Snipe IT, and we wanted to get everything that was in the Jav Pro into Snipe IT without having to manually uh, enter it in, putting in serial numbers, um, MAC address, well, not MAC, um, IME numbers off the of phones, and so on. And, and it seemed pretty pointless to manually copy and paste them when we could perhaps do it automatically. So. Um, this is what we, we had, my wonderful diagramming skills again, and uh, I have the code on my GitLab, just to be a different page. It's uh, written in the mighty PHP, so uh, <laughs> if you'd like to have a look at it, please feel free to, uh, to download it. I'm just gonna actually talk through, instead of showing you the code, what, it, what it's gonna do. Um, we're using the Jamf Classic API as of now, because um, the new one doesn't have any features pretty much yet. Uh, <laughs> And so you can have a good look at uh, what Jamf API does at uh, your Jamf Pro URL slash API, and you actually hit JSS resource to, to do anything on it. Um, Snipe has a really excellent API, and you can have a look at um, what it looks like there. First request we do to Jamf Pro, we say, give us all the computers that you have. Um, the response we get back, looks it comes in XML, looks like that, and this is from my test, Jamf Pro instance, and so it only has one computer, and we get back the ID and the name of the computer. Uh, we then go back to Jamf Pro for every computer we get back, and we say, hey, give us all of the information, and this is quite abbreviated. This would be many, many pages along with all of the, the information you might need to get. Uh, so this is going to just showing you um, the information back from my little lowly MacBook Pro that's getting very old. Uh, we then check it against uh, Snipe, and so we say to Snipe, hey, give us all of the uh, hardware you've got, and that's what it would look like if it had one. Um, so we then compare serial numbers, and if the serial number is missing from Snipe, we then say, okay, let's add it to Snipe. And so we send up a bit of JSON that looks like this and says, hey, here's, a, here's this computer, here's a serial number. We have to check and see um, if the model exists in Snipe, and if the model doesn't exist, then we make it using the information that we've got back from Jamf, uh, and likewise, we kind of have to guess at a category. Uh, and so that adds it up. We also want to update Jamf Pro because obviously it's very wasteful getting down every single computer in your Jamf Pro. That might take a little bit of uh, time. Uh, so instead what we'll do is we'll add the computer that we've just added to a group called Sniped, which has got a group ID of, I think, free. And that way, when we go back to the beginning, in the future we can say, actually, don't, um, don't give us all the computers, just give us ones that aren't a member of Sniped. But of course you can't download a list of computers from, that aren't a member of a group. So in true Jamf fashion, we then have to make a smart group whose criteria is not a member of that group. Uh, but by doing that, we're, we're just getting the ones that we haven't updated, so it's, it's pretty quick. Let's have a look to see what it looks like. Sorry, more meme bingo. Okay, don't do this. I'm probably the only person here who's using PowerPoint. Uh, sorry, Power, yeah, God, it's great. Uh, so, uh, Here's my Jamf Pro with uh, just this laptop in it. And as you can see in my uh, Snipe instance, there are no assets. Um, yes, I am a child calling it ass man. Uh, somebody said I was turning into Kramer, and uh, you may remember that was his uh, license plate he got. Uh, so uh, in the terminal, uh, we're just gonna run this locally on my Mac, and there's just one simple command. Adds the ID, adds the asset, and then if we go back to Sniped, refresh, there we go. And it's just put it in there for us. Um, there's quite a lot to do to improve it. Uh, we're going to start using webhooks so that they get added automatically. Uh, but otherwise, it's hopefully going to save us a lot of time when we need to populate the database.